Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can speed up your Windows computer by reducing the number of processes that are running in the background. Now I am going to be demonstrating this on a Windows 11 computer, but this will also work on a Windows 10 computer as all of the steps will be exactly the same. So the first thing we are going to do is start by checking the number of performances we currently have running on our system. So that way at the end of this video, we can come back to this setting and check to see the reduction. So you'll need to come over to your task manager by pressing the window. Windows key and searching for task manager or you can just press Control alt delete on your keyboard to bring up this window and inside of here we need to come over to performance from the left now as you can see down here in processes I currently have 246 processes running on my computer which is a crazy amount and certainly slowing down my computer so let's look at how we reduce this number so the first thing we need to do is come over to the startup apps from the left here and we're just going to go down this list disabling any applications that we actually don't need starting up when we first launch our computer. Now I've already done this so most of these are disabled but you just need to go through each of these one by one because these will be running in the background and definitely slowing down your PC. And to disable an application you just simply need to right click on it and select disable and then the status column will update to disabled. Now we can close out of this task manager window and we're going to come over to our start menu, search for run and tap on the run icon. Then inside of here we need to type in services.msc and hit enter and once again we're going to go through this list and disable some unnecessary services that we don't need running and are definitely slowing down our computer. So we're going to start by scrolling all the way down to the bottom here and we're going to disable all of these Xbox options down here just by double clicking on each of them and we're going to change the startup type to disabled and then you can just press apply and OK to save the changes and we're going to do the same thing inside of here and just make sure each of these ones are set to disabled and then inside of this last one same thing again then press apply and OK. Now once we've disabled these four Xbox ones, we're going to scroll all the way back up to the top and the next service we're looking for is something called BitLocker Drive Encryption Service and we're going to go ahead and disable this one by double clicking on it, change the startup type to disabled and then press apply and OK. Then come down to connected user experiences which is this one here, connected user experiences and telemetry which we can double click on and once again change this to disabled and if the service status is set to running then we can just press stop to stop this service also and press apply and OK. The next one you need is something called download maps manager as we're not going to be needing that this one here and once again change this to disabled press apply and OK then come down to parental controls now if you're not using parental controls on your computer it's a good idea to also disable this one just change the startup type to disabled and press apply and OK then look for phone service and if you don't use the phone service on the computer you can disable this one so once again change this to disabled press OK and the last one we're going to change is something called wallet service and we can double click on this and then change it to disabled and press apply and OK. Now that's all of the services we need to disable in here so we can close out of this window and the next thing we're going to do is head over to our start menu and you need to type in sysdm.cpl and then just press this control panel item here. Come over to the advanced tab. Underneath performance, we need to hit settings and you'll probably have one of these options already selected. Just change this to custom and then you wanna change your settings to how I've got mine displayed here, which is basically everything disabled. And the only things we wanna keep enabled is animations in the taskbar, show thumbnails instead of icons and also smooth edges on screen fonts. Everything else we need to keep unchecked and then just press apply and okay. Then you can close out of this window and next thing we're going to do is come back to the start menu and search for run tap on the run icon and inside of here you're going to type in ms config and hit enter then head over to the services tab from the top and you need to select hide all microsoft services and we're just going to press disable all and press apply and ok now this will ask us to restart our computer for the changes to take effect but for now we're going to select exit without restart because we're going to restart our computer at the end of this video so for now let's come back over to the start menu and search for task scheduler and come over to the task scheduler app then from here come down to the task scheduler library and you need to go through this list disabling any things that we don't actually need running on our computer now if you're not sure what a process is then some of these will give you descriptions of what they are just by double clicking on them and as you
you can see this process here, keep your Microsoft software up to date. So obviously this one's quite an important one, so we're gonna keep this. But for example, I have this Adobe one here. Now I don't need this running automatically, so I'm just gonna end this scheduler. And I'm also gonna do the same for all of these OneDrives here, as I don't necessarily use the OneDrive on my computer. And then once you've gone through these carefully one by one, just make sure you know which ones you're actually disabling and what they do. And you can do a bit of research online beforehand, so you know exactly what you're disabling. We can then close out of this window. And the next thing we're gonna do is head over to our settings by coming to the start menu and searching for settings. And the first thing we need to do is come over to personalization from the left here and scroll all the way down and come inside of taskbar. And we're gonna disable widgets from here as this slows down our computer. Then come over to apps from the left inside of installed apps. And once again, we're gonna carefully go through this list, removing any applications that we don't need installed on our computer. Now there's a bunch of Microsoft stuff pre-installed on your computer when you first set up Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of this stuff now, such as the maps. I don't use that so I can just get rid of it by hitting and uninstall. And if we ever do need to reinstall any of these apps, then we can do so through the Microsoft Store. And once again, just go through this list, uninstalling anything that we don't currently need. And I definitely recommend getting rid of all these Microsoft ones if you're not using them. Like I said, you can reinstall them from the Microsoft Store, so don't worry too much about deleting these. And the last one I'm gonna remove from my computer is this weather app here. So once we've done that, we can come back over to the apps tab. And now we're gonna select apps for websites and you wanna disable all of these options here. And we're now gonna to come to gaming from the left here, inside of game bar. And if you have this game bar enabled, then make sure to disable it now as this really slows down your computer and it's always running in the background. And we can then close out of the settings window. And now we're gonna restart our computer for all of our changes to take effect. Now, once you've restarted your computer, we can then come to check to see how many processes we've reduced this by, by coming back to our task manager in the start menu and searching for task manager. Then let's come back over to the performance tab and as you can see I now have only 137 processes running which is a significant reduction from what we had before I think we were running about 240 before so we've reduced this by nearly 100 processes which is absolutely massive and I'm also running my recording software at the moment so we could probably even get this down to 130 if I wasn't recording and that's it guys if this video did help you then please drop a like and subscribe until next time